And so how are you eating today? Like take us through like a day in the life of Josh. Take us through your morning, your afternoon, your your evening. This I think will help clear things up for a lot sure. of people on how they, they should be eating on medical medium. So, I mean, basically it evolved into how I treat every single day, which is morning, lemon water, celery juice, um, supplements, heavy metal detox smoothie. Uh, then I, I always have a juice. I always have um, apple, cucumber, or ginger, turmeric juice every single day, 32 ounces that I nurse throughout the day. Then I would have spinach soup and at lunch. I still do this every day. And then at night, and when I was still cleansing, I would either do potatoes and spinach soup or, and like a marinara sauce or like raw marinara or um, spinach soup and fruit. And that's just how I live. That's still how I live. Only now I bring in avocado. So in September of 2019, I decided to bring fats back in and I experimented with some fats. I had some uh, nuts and seeds and stuff like that. And I found that avocado was especially beneficial to my digestive issues that I would sometimes still have under stress. So when I'm under periods of stress, if I bring in avocado, my gut's going to be fine. And it's, I'm not going to get any bloating. I'm not going to get any of that. But only at night, only one at night with, uh, with whatever I'm having for dinner. Um, but I still generally am trying to reduce my fats and I have no overt fats uh, daily as I, as I navigate through the world. Right. So uh, fortunately I have a lot of help at home. You know, uh, my wife helps out a lot with, uh, food prep and stuff. I do it too. I'm, I'm in the kitchen five hours a day, pretty much four or five hours a day, every day. There's just no way around that. Um, so it's a lot of work, but the reward is health. So it's worth it. So, um, in the morning I do my lemon water, 32 ounces of lemon water. I have a little hit of honey, raw organic honey. And then I prep my celery. I juice my celery fresh in the morning. I have 32 ounces of celery juice. I put some aside for my son. Um, and then I wait 30 minutes. And then I have my supplements. And then I have my heavy metal detox smoothie, which is about like 56 to 64 ounces generally. I add a lot of bananas into my heavy metal detox smoothie. I also add chaga into my HMDS. It's a, I find it just a good time to get some chaga into my uh, day. And um, I also, I, I make and blend my heavy metal detox at night, the night before. So that's blueberries, bananas, cilantro, and um, I also add dragon fruit to mine. Um, and so I have that all blended the night before, and then I add the powders in the morning right before I eat it, because you, you want to wait to add the powder if you're going to do it like that so that the powder stays fresh, the spirulina and the barley grass juice. And then I like to eat the dulse separately because I just love dulse, and it reminds me of the beach, reminds me of the ocean and stuff, and so I just love to enjoy that. Um, and then I nurse a juice, which is apple, cucumber, ginger, turmeric, 32 ounces, I nurse that throughout the day. I bring 32 ounces of lemon water that I also drink throughout the day. Now, as I'm getting closer, I never let myself go more than um, 90 to 120 minutes without some form of glucose because if you go further than that, you're using adrenaline now to bridge that gap to keep your cells moving. So I'm constantly bringing in some form of glucose. Um, and then... In the afternoon, uh, I'll drink my juices. I usually take a break at work around 9, and I'll drink a whole bunch of that juice, the aforementioned juice. And then um, in around noon at lunch break, I'll break out uh, deconstructed spinach soup. I don't blend it because it, it's you, you don't really want to blend it and then eat it further down the road. It's not as good. You kind of want it fresh. So I just bring a huge amount of spinach and chopped up bananas and orange. And uh, sometimes I'll throw some of the other ingredients in there, but that's like the basis of what I eat for lunch, um, which is a lot. It takes me that full 30 minutes, so it's just like a race every day. I'm just like, I'm trying to eat all that stuff before my lunch break is over. Um, and then I, I continue to drink those juices and lemon waters. Oh, and I drink the lemon water 30 minutes before I eat. So I'm constantly trying to upgrade my 
HCL before I eat anything. When, when I'm going to eat something, I either have celery juice 30 minutes before it or lemon water 30 minutes before it. Um, and then on my way home, I continue to maybe have some honey or maybe have some the juice and stuff like that. I get home, I have a celery juice, another celery juice, 16 ounces. And then I have potatoes, sweet potatoes, butternut squash. Um, and if I'm under periods of stress or whatever, I'll also add a guacamole with that, which would be like an, one avocado plus cilantro, garlic, lemon, lime, tomato, and maybe a few other ingredients like rosemary or um, basil or something like that if I really want to upgrade it a little bit. And then I'll have all that with potatoes. Now, generally, I know you don't, you don't really want to be mixing overt fats with potatoes if you can help it. But for me, it's the best time for me to eat those things because it's at night. This is the strongest I'm going to be able to digest. And they do generally help me to deal with if I'm under stress. But if I'm not dealing with it, if everything's just cool, baby, then I'll just have fat-free. I'll make like a fat-free pizza with a potato base, marinara, and toppings. Um, or like a Thanksgiving style uh, meal or like some kind of pea hummus style meal and try to keep the fats down as much as possible. And then maybe before bed, I'll have like some bananas and some dates or something like that if I'm hungry or coconut water uh, if I'm not, just to make sure I'm getting the glucose on board and managing mm -hmm. the glucose. And then you do all the prep for the next day and you do it again and you do it again and you do it again. And that's what I've been doing now for nearly four years <laughs> non-stop i uh, one thing that just occurred to me and i just want to back up for a second to, I, yeah. I can't believe i forgot about this but one of the most important parts of my healing was aloe aloe gel and, and you reminded me as i'm thinking about my instagram and one of the things i do the most is like talk about aloe and i eat aloe and joke about how gross it is and stuff like that but it's it's actually one of the most important building blocks of my gut and how I got my life back was eating aloe. And that was another tip from Maria, actually. She said to just start eating aloe every single day. And I've, had, I've ate aloe every single day for years now. And it is so powerful. Don't underestimate that one. Even just that one alone is just absolutely critical for anybody going through digestive distress. Good stuff. Yeah, the, the, the fat thing's important, especially if you have digestive problems because that can affect your digestive tract. You know, that's the, the idea with these mono-eating cleanses and stuff. That's why they're so great for people out there struggling with digestive problems as you're simplifying how you eat and you're giving your digestive tract a break so it can kind of relearn how to digest this, you know, this food. So you were doing mono-cleanses, it sounded like, um, before Anthony even had that in his book. Kind of. And that was a recommendation actually from Rhea. That was one of the things Rhea told me to do, right? Like, hey, she says, you know what? Why don't you just eat bananas? Why don't you just only eat bananas and you'll be fine? And I was like, huh, just eat bananas. And I actually looked up some guy, and there happened to be some guy from Australia on YouTube who only ate bananas, only ate bananas for 11 years, and he was fine. Like, his health, his health was off the charts. So I was like, okay, well. I'm going to try some of this crazy stuff. And, and sure enough, it worked. And then I started to understand as I got involved with social media that there was this whole other world of people that were using raw fruit and vegetables to heal their various syndromes. And then the pinnacle of it was having all the medical medium information to understand how to use all of that as a tool to heal certain syndromes and conditions while staying away from the stuff that you don't want to mess with, the trouble foods, the no foods, etc. Yeah. Yeah, and people, uh, people that might not know of you, uh, do do you have a way of people getting in touch with you? Do you have like an Instagram or yeah. social yep. media? Yeah. So if people want to reach out and talk to you about your story here, that they can get in contact with you in some way. Absolutely. Yeah. If anybody uh, is interested. You can follow me at Eldridge Space Healing on Instagram. Uh, that's my um, IG handle. And uh, if you can't find that, you can also find my, my business website at jaebuilding.com. That also, you'll, you'll figure out how to find my 
you know, my through my business Instagram, my building Instagram, you'll figure out how to find my healing Instagram if you can't find it that way. And yeah, oh. absolutely. If if my story can help anybody, I hope it does because that's why I'm doing it.